Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hi. That was my intro. Yeah, hi, Brunchies. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was crazy. And that's how we do it on Bob and Ray. Hi, guys. Hi, Brunchies. Welcome back. We got another episode of fun for y'all. Hopefully this time we record everybody. <laughs> yeah. So Josh's microphone didn't have the one, two channel button pushed the other day. I don't know how it got unpushed because I always just leave those channels alone. I never yeah. touch them. So I'm thinking it was that time we did that Christmas in July episode. Where oh, we yeah. had to move the board over here and we had oh, to mess shoot. with a bunch of stuff. And so, so it was from the beginning. Uh-huh. No sound from Josh. Literally oh, nothing. Shoot. There were a couple snippets that I kind of like amplified off Steph's mic. Oh my gosh. But other than that, yeah. <laughs> sorry, Josh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Josh. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. <laughs> uh totally screwed the pooch on that one. Well. But you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. In true Bob and Ray fashion, there is usually a technical difficulty. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Always. Yeah. It's just the way that it goes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What can you do? Not much. <laughs> well, there was something else I wanted to mention, but I totally forgot what it was. That's okay. We'll come back to you. Yeah, we'll have to come back to it. So... You guys know that I always ask Bobby a question so that the audience can get to know us better. And today I want to know, if there is one bodily function that you could eliminate, what pooping. would it be? Pooping. It, pooping. it would be pooping? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I could eat all I want, yeah. And stay thin. It would be weird not to poop. Yeah, kind of would. I don't know how I feel about that. Eating takes up a lot of time. Yeah, and burping. Like, uh, burping can be kind of gross sometimes. Yeah. Coughing, sneezing. Hiccups. Hiccups are funny to me. I like them. When I have the hiccups, it hurts, like, yeah. deep down inside. Because your diaphragm's, like, flexing uncontrollably. Yeah, I don't like the hiccups at all. So you'd get rid of hiccups over pooping? Pooping's natural. Yeah. Sometimes it feels good to poop. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Sometimes you're like, oh, that felt so good. Yeah, but there's <laughs> other times you're like, I gotta go, I gotta go, and I'd rather get rid of that. Well, diarrhea, too. Oh, Jesus, that yeah. That just makes a mess. <laughs> you know? You have to, like, take a shower sometimes. Oh, yeah, that's so true. Um, Crying would be kind of interesting if you cried but didn't have any tears. Oh, that would be weird. <laughs> is he crying? I can't tell. Yeah, I can't tell because there's no tears. Is he sad or happy? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what about BO? I don't have BO that often. No, I'm just saying if you could get rid of the bodily function of BO, then you would never have to smell anybody with BO. Oh, oh, for everybody? Yeah. Oh, shit. That would be kind of cool. How about headaches? Oh. I mean, seriously. Sometimes headaches are just like too much. Like migraines? Yeah. I haven't had one of those in a really long time. Me either, but... Thank God. Like a month ago, I had a massive headache, and I was like, holy fuck, I never have headaches. Is that considered a body function, a headache? Oh, uh, no, I guess not. I would still say hiccups. I hate the hiccups. I'd say coughing, because I hate coughing. Oh, yeah. And I'm always coughing. Coughing can be hard on you. Yeah. You're like, oh, I got my chest workout in today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do cough a lot. I cough a lot, a lot. I have to cut out a lot of coughs. Yeah. So, okay, let's take out coughing. No coughing for Bobby. No, no hiccups coughing. for me. Yay. Okay. Yay. So today I was out at the airport picking up Ian. And, you Hi, know, Ian. It Welcome says, home. No unattended vehicles. Yeah. So it was hot and I just got out of the truck and just sat on the little bench, right? And this cop comes up to me and he's like, dude did you read the sign? And I'm like, the no unattended vehicles. I'm sitting literally right here. So I'm pretty sure if I need to move my vehicle, I can do that for you. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, you look familiar. Did you used to be the bike cop over at NC? Oh, and he's yeah. like, yeah, I did. So I ended up having like a 20 minute conversation with the guy who gave me a citation for smoking. <laughs> when you were school. a kid, right? Yeah. So another time, my friend Angie, I bent down to like, there was like Smoker's Alley, you know, like kind of off to the side of the parking lot where yeah. all the kids would go smoke. And one day I bent down to like tie my shoes. So I handed Angie my cigarette and he pulled up right then and there and he gave Angie a citation. And I even was like, dude, it was my cigarette. And he's like, yeah. whatever, she's the one holding it. Possession's nine tenths of the law. Oh shit. So she ended up getting a citation for my cigarette. 
Oh man, it's not. It's just like a sculpting citation. Yeah. Right? No, I had to go to. She had to go to court. Court, it, court. Yeah, it's an MIP, a minor in possession. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. And so I got to talking to this cop a little bit more. And remember when Ian put that s- turbo in his sled, and he went out to the airport to get some airplane gas? Oh yeah, airplane to get gas. That airplane gas. Yeah. He remembers him. Really? Coming to get airplane gas. And he's like, no, you can't just come out to the airport. Yeah, he's gas. like, I was wondering what the shit he was doing with that stuff. And I was like, it was for a sled. Like, yeah. But he totally remembers Ian showing up with his gas can, trying to get, like, jet fuel <laughs> for his snowmobile. He's like, you two make quite the pair. I'm like, yeah, we do. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. That's so crazy. That was kind of a fun little story today. Like, Yeah. And then we went and voted. The yeah. line was really long. Which means good things. I hope. Hopefully. hopefully we see some positive changes. Yeah. You can only do what you can and do. You know what? I hope that when I go home and I turn on the TV, if I, yeah. Anyway, when I turn on the TV, I don't see an ad. And I totally approve this message. I, I hate approve those ads. this message. Dude, it's one after another, after another, after yeah. another. Yeah. And you're not making me want to vote for you by oh, wasting no. my time oh. with these ads. Oh, no. Hell no. Yeah. Yeah. Getting some old on there and saying oh i like it like this <laughs> and i approve this message and yeah paid for by the gop for so and so yeah exactly yeah screw all that well i'm just excited to see who wins this primary and then we get a vote again in november yay november Woo-hoo! so i wanted to give everybody a little betty white update She's going in tomorrow. Yay, Betty! Betty is going to get her head gasket fixed. She needs her head gasket fixed Yeah, bad. and her CV joint. And her CV. Oh, she's going to drive like new. I know. I'm going to be like, what? Is this my car? Do you right. guys trade this in? So Betty White is on the up and up. Cool. Woo! Woo! I've been worried about her. <laughs> I bet you have. <laughs> I have. I've been driving that Toyota, which is fine, but... I don't like driving a stick shift yeah. all the time. Yeah. It's nice to have an automatic. Sometimes you have to do stuff with your hands. Yeah. Well, and sometimes you just don't want to fucking Shit. push your extra leg down and, you know. Yeah. So I'm happy to have her back. She should be back by the weekend. Ooh, yay. So last episode, you know how um, Steph just kept talking about croissants? Oh, yeah. Like croissants, croissants. Yeah. I went to Twin City Sweets and Treats and got the ham and cheese croissant. Oh, yeah. Highly recommend that sucker. <laughs> is it warm? It is. And it's ham and gouda. Oh my god. And the she's right, like the crescent is just like so buttery and flaky. Like you're it's making me hungry. Good. It's so good. And I they, think I'm drooling a bit. They have hammy donuts on Friday. I know. We gotta go check that I out know. one of these days. Friday donuts. Yeah, you got any shout outs? Not necessarily. I haven't done I haven't really even been out of my house in a like a couple days. You're a hermit. Yeah. Hermit Bobby. Yeah, but I'm trying to get shit done so I don't have to pound on the table. That's not true. You were out on Saturday because Robin and Terry called. Oh my god. From the bar. Yeah. <laughs> and they wanted to know if I wanted to go to the bar at like ten o'clock at night. Yeah. I was like, man, I'm balls deep in painting. And you know where they work? The place that I hate. Chatters. Butchers. Oh, they were at Butchers. I hate that fucking place. Well, you were there. Yeah. <laughs> I was in the basement, and it was like, so they have two coolers, like water coolers going, and it, everyone was just like drenched. Like muggy? Yeah, muggy, nasty, drenched. And then they fucked up on Terry's tab. Somehow it was like $100 more than it should have been. Oops. Holy moly. Yeah. That's not good. How do you know that they fucked because up? Because they had to clear it out because they're like, we are going home, so we close out all tabs so we can get tipped. What have you been thinking about the rain? Oh my gosh, isn't that cool? I love the rain. Me too. Except my dog's been running in the mud now. Oh. And he comes inside, and I'm not kidding you, wherever he lays, there's like a huge ass pile of dirt. Yeah. It's nuts, and his tail's all painted gray. He uh, is a mess, dude. Oh, man. He's a mess. Yeah, but it's cool. Uh, well, we fertilized right before it started raining and oh, doing nice. all this. Yeah, yeah, great. But my inch is, my, I mean, my inch. My grass is growing like an inch a day. Yeah, it's awesome. It is so long. I'm like, God, should I mow it today? Well, and if you don't get it mowed soon, it's going to be really hard. Yeah, too much. What do you got going on, dude? It's not me. It's the CAC. Oh, well, turn it off. Okay, turn it off. Hey, CAC. We've had enough. This is going off, too. 
their text messages sometimes in that group get crazy. I know. Well, I wanted to tell you guys about a couple of things that are going on in Casper. So coming up this Friday and Saturday, Keyhole Peep Show had to reschedule their show. So it's going to be at The Void on this Friday and Saturday, the 26th and 27th of August. Yay! Um, so if you haven't been down to see these ladies, definitely go check out one of their show. They've got some VIP soap sofa seatings and some other things going on get your butts down there and i've got a little like i kind of know one of the ladies and she let me in on one of her routines and it sounds like it's gonna be pretty cool really yeah so make sure you guys go check that out and then on the 27th jessica luan yeah blink and wax is doing something really cool for the teenagers yeah she's having that teen day where you don't need an appointment or anything it's from 10 to noon you go to blink and wax and she'll wax anybody that's under 17 years of age um unibrows mustaches to get them ready for school oh you do have to have a parent with you though yes so make sure that you grab your parent and then you go do that so you can get ready for school and she's doing it for free Wow, I, I love, love Jessica. I do too. She's, She's so, so awesome. amazing. Yeah. And when we had her on the show, you know how she was talking about like self-confidence and stuff? Yeah. Like it's cool that she gives back in this way so that kids can go to school knowing that they don't have a unibrow. It's like one less thing they have to worry about getting picked on for. Right. Them. Or a mustache or whatever. Think they, about if it. you're under 17, you can go from 10 to 2? 10 to noon. It's 10 only to noon. two hours. Oh wow. So you gotta get there. Yeah. But it's an awesome thing that she's doing. And then the Casper Artist Collective is going to be having a meet and greet the 17th of September. Yes. It's a Saturday. We're going to be meeting at Washington Park. We've got some food trucks. I think it's from 2 to 6. Yeah. We'll have a community art activity, a huge canvas that we're all going to be working on painting together. So that should be pretty cool. And then um, what else are we doing for that? We're going to have water. So come down and at least get a free water. Water, cornhole. Cornhole. I feel like there's a lot more going on. There's a lot more going on than that. The little art gallery will be down there. Yeah. Um, But it's just a good way to meet the artists in your community. So grab your family, friends. It's open to everybody. And yeah, that's about it. Do you have anything else that you want to say that's going on? Well, actually, yes, I do. Jesse and Becky, um, Saturday, August 27th at 11, they're doing the the Shriner Wing and Wingding. The Casper Shriner Wing Ding, where you go out to the Shriners. And you have some wings. That's Hot cool. wings, yeah. They do a lot for the Shriners, Oh, my huh? gosh. They do so much. I don't know how they have time to really live their own lives. Well, we want to throw a little shout-out to Penny, too. Oh, yeah, Penny. You're in our hearts. And we're thinking of you. Yeah. You, you and Justin. Too. Yeah, you guys. Man. Well, we need to get you rescheduled, too, because I'm really sad we missed our sesh. Yeah, me, too. <laughs> me I love too. having them on. I do, too. I love those guys <laughs> a lot. Well, and today we have a really interesting guest for me, for you guys. Right. It should be a pretty, pretty interesting interview. Yeah. Neither one of us have spent very much time with this person. No, no. So, so we don't really know him that well. We will get to learn a lot. Right. About Florida and other things happening. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, do you have any other shout outs or anything? I certainly don't. I mean, be sure to go to the wing ding on the 11th. I mean, 27th at 11. Buy our merch, peeps. Yeah. Buy our merch, please. Buy we need... the merch. <laughs> I would probably need a new shirt. I mean, we, we have to get... Yeah, we need to re-up. Re-up. And we've got quite a few people on the hoodie list. So yeah. that's another thing. We're going to be making a hoodie order probably in the next month or so. So if you want a hoodie, let us know. Get on the list because those are one and done. We only get the hoodies made for the people who are on the list. Right. We don't and order any extras. It's been well over six months since we did the last one. That was like in December, wasn't it? Um, I want to say it was like closer to... March because they came oh. in when I had my shop still. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. It was right around Easter time that they came in. Oh, okay. But we want to get them in now so that because it took so long last time with yeah. the supply chain, this way they're ready for fall, winter. You'll have your hoodies. And guys, let us know if you want us to change up the color. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. Maybe do a cool like orange or white or something. Ooh, white. White could be really cool. White could be way cool. Yeah. Man, yeah, I'm, guys, let us know if you want us to change up the color. I just remembered what I was going to say, and then I forgot it again. <laughs> I'm losing my Well, we'll here. see you guys. Refill your drinks, everybody. And we'll be back in a tick, in a tick, in a tick, a tick, tick, a tick, tick a time. I wish I could remember what I was going to say. Thing. I don't know what it
You got your ding dong? Yeah. <laughs> Let me whip my ding dong out. Get it out. Woo. We got a guest. Yes, we got a guest. It's a little hot out there. We should probably let him in. Yes, let's let him in. All right. Hey, Hi. who do we have oh, with us go. today? Hello, my name is Jeff. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Yeah, he will have an interesting last name because the first time mm. we met you, you told me your name stood for something kind of interesting. So my name means peaceful troublemaker. Peaceful troublemaker. <laughs> How can you be peaceful and a troublemaker at the same well, time? Well, wh whenever they were giving out last names back in medieval Europe, yeah. mine was German, so it's Streichmacher, which street matters. But the Strei, as a German person told me, means trouble or problem, and me Macher is definitely the maker. Yeah. So they were like, you guys, you're the troublemakers. Oh, so when you came over, I mean, when your family came over, they were like troublemakers. Yeah. Like, yeah. We know what you guys are all about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. And then the first name, Jeff, in the baby book means peaceful one, so I think it's kind of oh. cool. That it's all. Like it's okay yeah. to be like, you know, stir the pot, but be good about it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. I think we do a lot of that around we here. We do. We <laughs> stir the hell out We're of that pot. We're constantly stirring the pot. Well, and I wanted to say, I read your article. Was it in Oil City or the Trib? I can't Oil remember. Oil City. Oil City. And you're from Florida. Yeah, yeah. And you just kind of happened upon Wyoming? Like, how did this all work? Well, first of all, Wyoming and Casper is a beautiful place to happen Oh, upon. my God. I love Casper. Dude, and I, I traveled a lot. Um... Uh, early in my career, I'm still early in my career, but I've been a lot of places in the United States, and Casper, I'm telling you, has so many magical qualities that we that we don't even know how yep. to appreciate. But as the story goes, I came here a year ago for a girl. Oh, <laughs> oh. okay. You still with the girl? Oh no, oh. no, no, no. It was actually, <laughs> oh man, it's a tough story to tell. But we kind of had a problematic relationship, and um, we maybe had dated for like eight months, but. She had got a job out in Wyoming working at an animal sanctuary, like out oh, cool. tons of land, being around animals. Yeah. So this was like a fresh start for both of us. Yeah. And I remember when we came and visit, which was May of last year, the sense of being standing out in that field and witnessing total silence, unlike anything I've ever It's pretty cool. Oh, really? Were you born in Florida? I'm actually born in South Carolina. In South oh. Carolina. Oh my God, yeah, you're Southern everywhere. Boa. You're like me. So can you Southern give me Boa. the deal on the freaking boiled peanuts down there? What is with the boiled peanuts? I don't know. I saw a chef saying about it. Yeah. They're they everywhere them. down there. They're just good. I went and yeah. visited a friend in North Carolina and we ended up going down to South Carolina for a beach trip or whatever. And every gas station, a crock pot full of boiled peanuts. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got to check out the, the crock pot too. If it's been on for a couple of days, <laughs> go to the next one. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like the boiled peanuts are so weird. Yeah, it's and they're like, super chewy. Yeah, they're it's bizarre. And you yeah. can literally, they're so chewy that you can just eat the shell. Oh, sounds weird. Yeah, but you can just but, slurp them down. Oh, and there's weird. a lot of fiber in them. It's good too. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of fiber in wood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're <just eating> wood. <laughs> Because isn't that like wood? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, it's a shell. But... Gotta be yeah. good for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's interesting, like, because there's no regular tea down there. Like, sweet no, tea. everything's sweet. It's either sweet, extra sweet, or syrup. Like, I could not find a regular iced tea to save my life. And it's just such a different culture. Yeah. Was there some culture shocks when you came to Wyoming? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Florida culture. Um, my dad said it once. He's like, everyone who's in Florida seems like they're trying to run away from something. <laughs> you know what, though? It makes sense. That totally makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You get a lot of retired people down there, too. Yeah, they're you? running away from young, yeah. uh, being young, I guess. They're running know. away from their grandkids. Yeah. That's like, what... I don't want to babysit anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the difference between East Coast, I feel like there's kind of like this being in each other's business a little bit uh -huh. or just close knit. Mm -hmm. Whereas coming to Wyoming, you could feel like there's a scent, there's a boundary around people. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, yeah. that's your space, and yeah. I, you can do whatever you want mm -hmm. over there. And yeah. in a sense of no judgment, too. Yeah. yeah. I love it here. I think there's a lot, I don't know, like, I think Casper gets a bad rap because we're called the Oil City, you know, and there is, like, a very grungy part to Casper. But even the grungy part's kind of cool. You yeah. know, like, all the oil-filled guys. And just, I don't know, like, the industries that we really use here... I don't know. It's just a different type of feel. And kind I, of rock and roll. Yeah. And I, my son always used to say underground. Like Casper kind of feels more underground. 
Like it's kind of a hidden gem. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And well, people are usually pretty cool. It's windy as fuck, too. It is. Don't forget that. <laughs> it's windy as fuck. I say that keeps it's, assholes away, though. I, that's my thing. The yeah. wind keeps assholes away. I agree. I like They'll the wind. move here for a year and be like, I hate the wind. I hate the wind. I'll move. And I'm like, bye. Yeah. Won't miss you. It, it's kind of fucking powerful, though, to like just stand outside and it's like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. That yeah. lightning storm mm. the other night. Was powerful. That was so awesome. It I was think so cool. I haven't talked to a person that hated it at all. Everyone was like, oh, I was outside. Or I was doing that. I was. You should have come over and sat on my porch because that's what I did. And like, I just kept thinking, God is mad at somebody yes, here. Like, yes. like, for two and a half hours straight. Just lightning just and thunder. Thunder. It was so cool. And it would like, it was slow lightning too. It would like ripple across the sky and all mm-hmm. these different patterns. Yeah. yeah. It was super cool. It lit things Except up. Except for at like two o'clock, everyone heard that one that was like a boom right in the middle of town. Joe and Dee Dee said that up by their house, because they live off Coal Creek, that uh-huh. it was nuts up there. Like super loud. Yeah. The whole time. And they yeah. thought Lachlan was going to wake up, but they're like, he slept through the whole thing. Yeah. Isn't He's that three. crazy? He's three. I'm <laughs> glad my dog wasn't alive. He would have hated it. He would have. <laughs> he hates loud, how, hated loud noises. Well, Leroy's not scared of much. But even, like, he sat on the patio with me, or the porch with me for a minute. Uh-huh. And then he's like, yeah, I'll just go inside the door where it's a little more chill. Like, oh, so he just sat right inside the yeah, door. Yeah, he sat right inside the door and didn't get too far, but he didn't want to be outside. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I know. I was out in the street. I haven't done that since <laughs> I lived in Tennessee. You dancing in the rain? I was dancing in the rain. Oh. I loved it. It was just something I haven't done since I was a kid, and it just brought back so many memories. We don't yeah. get good stories Yeah, and like it was that. it was 84 degrees. Damn. Still, yeah. it, it, the rain was warm. It was so nice. I mean, how many times I've like taken a screenshot of the temperature at night where it gets down to 60s, even yeah. in the summer. Yeah. I send that back home to my peop- people in Florida and it blows their mind. Yeah, they're like, oh my God. Yeah. Is it really hot there? It's hot every day of your life. You go outside <laughs> and you're sweating and you're going to sweat through your clothes every day of your life. So it's oh, like the wow. studio. <laughs> Yeah, it's like being in the studio right now with a scarf on. Right. Yeah. I know. You have a get rid scarf of this. on, man. Yeah, I was like, holy crap, dude. You're crazy. You almost don't me... even have a hot day in the summer because you go outside, you'll catch a breeze. The dryness yeah. will just dry you it out. It dries you out. Cool. Yeah, yeah, which is nice. Even in here, like, I'll go outside and just catch a little breeze, and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm better. Well, we got to do. In Florida, you don't dry. We live in a great place. We got to do yeah. a little housekeeping. Housekeeping? We got to know what is your favorite brunch. Since it's Sunday brunch. It's Sunday brunch. We got to know, what do you do for brunch? Where do you go for brunch? What do you drink? What do you eat? What's your scoop on a Casper brunch? Um, great question. I don't know if I have a great answer. I like grungy brunch. Grunge. Grunge brunch. It's brunch. brunch. <laughs> I love the sound of that. Michaela, yeah. add that to the dictionary. Grunge. In fact, <laughs> my favorite brunch experience was in college. And um, I think I just made this up, but I said to all my friends, I was like, let's have a backwards day. We'll do one day and we'll just spend it all together and do everything backwards. So we woke up at seven in the morning, went to our local pub that served food at seven in the morning and we drank beer and and ate steak and potatoes. (laughs) Really? Yeah. And then you're drunk at 830 and you're like, what is going on? I hate those days. That's okay. Oh my gosh. When I used to work overnight, I'd get off and go to the bar at 730 in the morning be skunk drunk by noon and walk out and yeah. it, it's blazing and I'm like oh my god it's I'm so drunk alibi <laughs> opens at six yeah I, use, I, I go to the alibi yeah. oh man you can go in the alibi that's have you been in the alibi yet oh yeah oh, that's yeah. like yeah. a staple in Casper the alibi so around. It's, that's grungy grungy yeah. that's yep. a way so grungy what else like do you have a do, is there a breakfast joint here that you really like oh um you know I like the cheese barrel Especially yeah. because mm-hmm. I still call it the Cheese Barrel and not the new name. Yeah. Whatever that is. The Bluebird. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're both good names, but Cheese yeah. Barrel is a better name. Well, and the che- the lady, the little Hawaiian lady that used to own the Cheese Barrel, she was so sweet. I uh, miss her. I always forget her name. Is it Florida? <laughs> I want to call her Florida, but it's not. No. It's um. She was so cute. My dad installed Angelis. the sign up there. Angelis is her name. Yeah. She was nice. Yeah. And she did a damn good I just job went, on those suits. I just went to Chatters with her a few days ago, like oh. a month ago. Nice. Yeah. A few days ago. Yeah. 31. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all Times days in my book, yeah. What do you like to drink for brunch? Um, say, say you're going to day drink. What would you drink? 
You know what? I w- I've been watching a lot of r- documentaries on Russia, so I think it'd just be a pint of vodka oh straight. My God. And drink right. it out of clear shot glasses or from the bottle. You'd oh, be messed wow. up real quick, man. Yeah, Bobby ah. liked vodka a lot. Man, two shots of whiskey, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> but vodka, the clearness, it goes straight through you. You know, yeah. you feel good the next day. Yeah. Yeah, if you get the right kind, you can't have potters. Yeah, what kind of vodka? <laughs> I drank potters last night. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm well, like, I set the smell. bottle on the table, and I'm like, guys, this is what the alcoholic father drinks. Exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> that was like high school. You go in and be like, hey, here's all my pocket change. Yeah. Give me a bottle of potter. Yeah. yeah. Fucked up. It's <laughs> like it's like two two fifty for a pint it's or something. Cheap. Like, it's super cheap. It's cheap. And I wake up with the worst headaches. Oh, my God. I drank wine last night, so I'm surprised I don't have a headache. Mm -hmm. I drank three beers while I finished my painting. Well, are they like thick beers? they light beers? Light. There you go. Just a couple light beers. Yeah, Miller Lights. Yeah. Yeah. Michelob. Michelob. Why did I say Miller? I don't know. I was thinking of Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. What's up? She's in Alaska right now. I know that bitch. I'm very jealous of her. Since we kind of got your brunch order. Oh, that's why she asked me about what size hoodie I wear. Oh, is she getting you a hoodie? Yeah, I'm going to have an Alaska hoodie. Making it a musk ox skin or something. Oh, God, I wish. Wouldn't that be cool? (laughs) Wouldn't that be like super cool? You could wear it in winter. Yeah. And it would fit right into my next Would You Rather. Oh, okay, cool. My first Would You Rather. And if you ever met a bear, you just put the hoodie on and and he'll back away. Because you're a musk ox? Yeah. Yeah, he'll be, he'll like stand down. Oh, cool. Yeah. (laughs) Good to know. So this is my Get away from my hoodie, bitch. Since you're from Florida, but you're now here in the great state of Wyoming, I wanted to know, would you rather be trapped outside and isolated by yourself during a hurricane or during a severe blizzard? Oh. A hurricane you wouldn't freeze to death in. Yeah. But you could get impaled. Yeah, by like a splinter. Have you seen the videos of hurricanes? Just like push everything over on its side. Uh Yeah. I and went, cars, like move cars, just tumble cars mm-hmm. across the park, pick lot. them up and throw them around. That's kind of scary. Well, yeah, I was in North Carolina after Hurricane Hermine. Like I flew in right when the hurricane was going on, and it was nuts, dude. Like there was so much rain, and in Raleigh, it's further away from the coast. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it was like insane, so insane. I've the never damage. seen like wind, rain like that ever, like monsoon shit. Oh God. I don't know, but a blizzard, sometimes you can't see shit. I'd get lost. Like a whiteout? Yeah, I'd be like that uh, shining, you know what I mean, the next day. <laughs> oh, frozen. The Bates Motel. Funny face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you experienced a whiteout yet? No. I, are pretty intense. Yeah, I can only imagine. The cold, I will say, suits me a lot better than the heat. Yeah. I mean, I've been doing the Wim Hof showers, and in the winter, those showers get cold. What's that? So, like, you literally to try... Try this. It's 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 okay in the summer, but don't put any heat on your shower. Just yeah. Turn all the way to the right, and if you do it for two minutes, if the first time you do it, it kind of feels bad, but after two days, you get addicted to it. Hmm. And it actually it's good for your circulation, for your stress, and um, and doing it in the winter. Wim Hof. Wim Hof. Wim Hof. This man is an is a Guinness Book of World Records holder. Are you serious for cold showers? Oh, dude, the cold showers will make you into Superman. Oh, He's wow. living proof of it. Wow. They've literally injected him with diseases, and he can like tell, tell his body to get rid of them. And it blows scientists' mind. But he's got he's on it's another level. My mind. That's Your crazy. mind is a powerful tool. Yeah, I know how powerful the mind is. Yeah, uh, definitely. It can be very very powerful. You can give up on life. You can keep going. Yeah, you've experienced this multiple times. Shit, yeah. You have. Yeah. There's been many times I'm like, I don't know if Bob's gonna make it, and then fucking there you are. Yeah, and then I pull through. It's your attitude. I know. Yeah, I'm German <laughs> now too. Yeah. I got a um, stem cell transplant, so they took me and killed me off, and then put a German kid in me. Ha. <laughs> His Believe it or not. That's wow. It. It changed I can my see it. Now that you say it, it makes sense. I can <laughs> see it in your eyes. It's twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, he had to like be isolated for a long time. Had to get his immune system re-initiated. Mm. Like, yeah, had to kickstart everything. Again. Yeah. Did any of your preferences or behaviors change? No. I thought that maybe I'd get, uh, become allergic to something or something like that. But no. I just want to go to Germany. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Ooh. I just want to drink beer all the time. He wants yeah, to I want to drink some beer holes <laughs> and a pretzel, yeah. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's crazy. Even my blood type changed. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 
Because <laughs> I was O and now I'm B. Nice. Isn't that crazy? You are a B. I am a B. Yeah, <laughs> makes a sense. A big B. Well, I would rather be in a blizzard. Why? I feel like I could dress accordingly if I needed to. Okay, so do you have a shelter? But you said outside by yourself. Be outside. Make an igloo. Yeah. Yeah, Hunker you can. Down. I mean, dig a hole. At least in a blizzard, if I kind of knew where I was at and I just stayed put, then you're fine. I'd be okay. But oh. in a hurricane, you just never know, dude. It's like they it could rip up an entire house. An entire block. So it wouldn't even matter if you're in a house. Yeah, right. that's true. Yeah, I'm gonna go with blizzard too. What about you, Bob? I'm sticking with hurricane because it's warm. Who wants to dance in the rain? But you know, like that wind can push. A toothpick so hard it can stick in a telephone pole. You know what yeah, I mean? So it's true. I mean, if you died, you'd, you'd get carried up and flung a million miles away. That would at least yeah. be a show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, Bobby's I going like to heaven. I like way Jeff thinks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Bobby's going to heaven. <laughs> yeah. Ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. He went to hell. <laughs> he went to hell. <laughs> Bobby's a watermelon. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I hear that like people that fall from a long distance just splatter. I yeah. bet. Because yeah. you are water. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, that's gross. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. Sure. Okay. Has you, have you guys ever seen a dead potty? Yes. Mm-hmm. Have you? Was it splattered or was it just dead? Uh, he killed himself. He was in a pool of blood and he was gray. I walked in and I was like, what the fuck? I, um, We're not meant to see those things, no. you know? Well, I mean, it's a life-changing experience. I was dating a girl once who was a medical student, and I don't think she was supposed to do this, but it was like 2 a.m. She's like, you want to see a dead body? Oh, my. Oh, my God. So we went into the room. I put on the lab coat to, like, disguise myself. She unzips the body bag, <laughs> and they, uh, she, like, pulls out his organs. It wasn't wet or anything. It was, like, uh, they, it was, like, post formaldehyde. plasticky. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Plastic-y. She pulls out his, my, his heart. I hold his heart. <sighs> Hold his stomach and these things. You held like the insides? And I could see his face too. He's just there. I could see his penis too. Oh, oh wow. No, I bet you that was. Up at Casper College, oh, they my God. get cadavers for the science program yeah. up there once a year. Yeah. I don't know if they still do it, but they did do it where they would actually dissect humans. Oh, yeah. In class. Oh, yeah. I bet you they have to. I mean, as a surgeon, biology you would have to. or something. Absolutely. I don't think you get a medical degree at Casper. You know, a bunch of. <laughs> A bunch of girls up here at the hospital got in trouble because there was this guy that was like exceptionally hung, but he died. And so all the girls, all these nurses got together and went down into the morgue to see his thing, and they all got busted and fired. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just for wanting to see a big thing, I know, right? Well, mm-hmm. Is that a crime? I mean, if I would want to see if it was if it was legendary. like extremely big. Yeah, I don't I'm know, Bobby. Seeing... I know you've seen a couple big ones. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just see if it's big enough to jump rope with, like a wolf, a wolf, bigger than the Costco hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, oh exactly. I bet you it is. I bet you it was. If like five chicks are like this shit big, that's weird. Yeah, that's I think the world record's like nineteen inches. That's gross. I know. I just don't think it's that gross. Would, yeah. Yeah, he wears a sock on it. He's in India or some shit. I don't think that wears like a sock. Not a size sock. game for you. Mm-mm, that would not be fun, dude. That could poke out the top of your head. <laughs> like you're a small girl, it'd be like poking out the top of your head. Just have a little. I'm rubbing against something here. <laughs> I'm rubbing bone against... or tissue, ligament, <laughs> braid. Uh, not that's supposed your to spine. Go make make you sound like <laughs> man. Oh. <laughs> I'll be bleeping that You'll out. You'll be bleeping that out. Yeah, there's certain words we're not allowed to say. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. Yeah, we can bleep. Yeah, Bobby is the one that told us we can't use that word, and you just used it. Yeah, I know. Right? You should okay. just you should take a sentence I out of the that... guest and just bleep it up, and then leave people to wonder. We oh, do we that do. Sometimes. We do. <laughs> Have you never listened to the podcast? I listened to like ten minutes before I came. Oh, okay, cool. You gotta listen to more than that. Yeah. Would you rather encounter an alligator in a lake or a shark in the ocean? I hate both of them, Me and I'm too. deathly afraid of both of those. Me too. You lived in Florida. There's alligators everywhere, right? Oh, both of those animals relatively inert. I mean, sharks have the same kind of uh, behavior as dogs. You know? Oh yeah. There's going to be the odd pit bull that wants to just bite into you and murder things, but yeah. most of the sharks are like pretty dope. They want to come up and hang have out. Have you ever seen a shark in real life? Mm-hmm. Like, have like, you swam like with sharks? Like, swam with them? Not like humongous, great, but yeah, like little ones. And I mean, the fish are swimming with them too, and you'd think the fish are more on the menu than yeah. you. But... You are, yeah. That, and have you ever seen an alligator? 
Like yeah. wrestled an alligator? Have you ever wrestled an alligator? The scariest experience I had with an alligator is most of the time they're just hanging out next to you. And they are like, want to be left alone. Please don't bother me. Yeah. But this one time, like during mating season, they can do some ornery things. Uh-huh. And we were kayaking. And we're like, oh, look, there's an alligator over there. And maybe it was like 20 yards. And then we like look over to the left. And then when we look back, he's like, per- he's like steadily getting closer to us, like on a beat. And we're like, okay, paddle, paddle. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. I wouldn't even be Me in too. a kayak. I'd be like, uh-huh. oh, my God. Because my stupid ass, with my brain would make me freak out. And You'd I'd be flip like, flip over. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then freak out, and the alligator would get me. Yeah, that's me. That's uh, totally me. Sharks can smell your hor- like your fear hormone or whatever, the, can't they? They smell fear written all over me. Yeah, I would be one of those people. Yeah, me they too. They would definitely come after me because I'd be so terrified. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'd make a stupid decision and do something really dumb. Yeah, like... Like, I'm scared of heights, and I know if I was near an edge somewhere, my brain would freak out and fling mm-hmm. my own self off. So. <laughs> you get vertigo? Yeah, I get vertigo really bad. Heights <laughs> and then snakes, top of my list. Ugh. Uh, snakes are another like one. Snakes. I, I don't like snakes. Anything without arms and legs, I can't handle. It's the fact that they can just slither, slither and you don't know where wiggle. they go. Yeah, but they're a sign of rebirth in a way. Mm-hmm. So, eh, it's tough on me. Oh, it's would you tough. do alligator or shark? Alligator... I would do alligator too because I don't. You could want to be in the ocean. I don't want to be in the yeah with the shark. Uh-uh. There's just too much unknown. I don't like water in general like that. Like no, she had a hard like time. Rivers. We went to the lake and she like had lakes. a hard time swimming out to an island with me. She's like, I'm not good with deep water, and I, I was like, just keep swimming. Just I keep don't sw- like all Nemo. the creepy crawly things in there. It just mm-hmm. makes me nervous. The unknown is what makes it you is. the most. It is. It's the unknown. I hate it. Yeah. Like something touches your leg and you're like. Fuck was that? Yeah. I don't like yeah. that. Don't have you ever been that. in a situation though where you were like opposite of that and you're like, oh, I'm just maybe like you're like, I'm gonna do my swim and I'm like the most fierce thing out here, and then you're just when I was a kid, I was really a good swimmer when I was a kid. Yeah. But um when my little sister passed away, I didn't get in the water for like ten years and it fucked me up bad. Like so now open water rivers are a no-go for me like i have tons of people are like come kayak with us come float the river and i'm like uh-uh i've seen way too many people die in rivers yeah. like not my Tough thing one. you yeah. saw them die um i've seen some pretty gruesome stuff in rivers i've never seen somebody die in the river but i've seen like my son's best friend in sixth oh, grade shit. died in yeah, the river he like, did die in the river they huh? didn't find him for three days yeah Ooh. like he was as people are like floating past him you know what I mean? Because it was during the summer, during yeah. float season, like right now. Well, and unfortunately, those rapids over there are very dangerous. Oh, because yeah. Because there's all that rebar and stuff in there. Yeah. Like, oh. So the rapids over in this, you might not know about this, but the Amico Park where those rapids are at, right that used that. to be mm-hmm. an actual, like, it used to be Amico refinery. And so they would throw a bunch of stuff in the river. And the reason they did that rapid and all that restoration was to cover up the rebar, the concrete, like try to clean that part of the river up because it had been really badly polluted. And so, I mean, you can have a raft and hit a thing of rebar, boom, yeah. you're done. Like, yeah. and those rapids are dangerous. <laughs> yeah, if you don't are, know what you're doing. They are dangerous. Yeah, they can tip you over. Yeah. I love these mics. I just want to like whisper up into them. <laughs> yeah, right? Isn't it cool? You can. But it I'm will like catch watching you. you talk and I'm like, I feel like I'm inside her mouth. <laughs> I know. And the, the headphones help, too. Huh? Yeah. Once you take them off, you're like, oh, this world sucks. I know. Yeah. It's weird. Can we, yeah. I can't hear as well. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. You got a would you rather? Um, oh, man. Or you want to move on to trivia? Yeah, let's move on to trivia. Maybe I can come up with one in the meantime. All right. Well, I'm going to mute myself, and okay. I'm going to step outside while you guys trivia it up, and then I'll come back in. All right, Jeff. It's oh, you and I. Okay. Are you smart? I'm um, very dumb. I'm okay. actually kind of a mix between a high f- a high functioning <laughs> person. <laughs> oh yeah, and a genius. Oh okay, yeah, me too. Okay, so how many Lord of the Rings films, films were there? Three of the Lord of the Rings. What animal is on the Porsche logo? I feel like it's a stallion. How many <laughs> soccer players should be on the field at the start of each match? I want to say it's like seven. What do you call a deer meat? 
Veganism. Um, what country produces the most coffee in the world? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. You made me uh, hold my breath. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go with Alaska. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to work. Costa Rica. Oh, so you, wow, you're doing pretty good, dude. You're doing pretty this good. This is fun. It is fun. See? Are you ready, girl? I think so. Hit me with your questions. How many Lord of the Rings movies are there? Three. One what three animal ones. is on the Porsche logo? I'm going to just say a horse. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How many soccer players should be on the field at the start of each match? Nine. What do you call deer meat? Venison. What country produces the most coffee in the world? Yes. Colombia. I'm okay. going with Colombia. They grow all kinds of stuff in Colombia. Let's see what the answers are. How many Lord of the Rings movies are there? Both of you said three. Mm. One to one. Yeah, one to one. What animal is on the Porsche logo? You said stallion. You said horse. You what both, is it? It's a horse. Yes. <laughs> so it is a stallion, too. So a stallion that's kind of is like a, a horse. A stallion is a horse. Yeah. Two to two. Ooh, yeah. This is an interesting uh, round How here. many soccer players should be on the field at the beginning of each match? 11. Oh, what'd you say? Jeff said seven. You said nine. So two, we were two. We working our way up there. I was trying. What do you call deer meat? Both of you got venison. Mm -hmm. Three to three. Three to three. Is, do we have a tiebreaker or no? no I need to find a tiebreaker. Oh. <laughs> um, what country produces the most coffee in the world? It is actually Brazil. Oh, <sighs> man. Those sassy Brazilians. Yeah, but, goodness. I mean, Costa Rica, that would have been an awesome one. Was I'm that sure, your answer? Yeah. It's Costa kind of Rica. small landmass. Yeah, though. but it's got small landmass. And same with Colombia. Colombia, mm. they grow all kinds of stuff it's in Colombia. Cocaine. Yeah, poppy fields galore. Cocaine. The CIA Fentanyl. is up in that biatch. Will you find your tiebreaker? I'll get the button. Pastor Sun? PKs, yep. What kind of uh, denomination? The non-denomination kind. Non what does that mean? Um, I'm not. I don't know a lot about religion. There means like they're like very like strange, but um, like in our church, there's like ten thousand members, and they don't date. They don't date people. They ask for their hand, like in the old customs. Oh dang! And they only marry within the church, so it's a very kind of oh, are you serious? Amish sort of thing. How's the wine? Is it good? It's good. It's pretty good. It's refreshing. It is. It's nice. This cool. one's pretty good. Check out the new press, the new press flavor I found. What is it? Pineapple. Basil. basil? It's really good, dude. It's I love basil. got kind of a creamy beer taste. Their branding is amazing. It's pretty much they didn't put any effort into it. It's just no. a white can with lettering, and it works really but well. Their flavors are really good. The apple cinnamon one's kind of weird, but the lemon and cardamom is awesome. The pomegranate ginger is good. Like mm. they're pretty good. Mm. I know. I wish they sold them just in regular, like a six pack of whatever flavor you want, because it yeah, would just be the pomegranate like... ginger mm. and the basil one. Because there's some flavors I'm like, I don't like as much. You know. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Stick with the favorites. Yeah. Just make it to where I can just go in and buy the ones I want. Because now I've got a fridge full of apple cinnamon this is one of the waters that I don't want. This is drink. one of the great tragedies of capitalism, because it's like a company makes original flavor and it's so good. That they're like, we should just make more because yeah. we're in the big time. And then you go into the store and suddenly there's 10 to pick from and you can't find the best one. But all you get is a variety pack. That's all you can get these in. You can only get them with four flavors. You can't get them. It's dumb. It's, it's a sellout game. And you have to buy a 12 pack. You yeah. can't buy a six pack. You have to buy a 12 pack. It doesn't make any sense to me. So the way sudden death trivia works is we okay. beep in. First one to answer correctly wins. Win. Boop, I'm going to move my beeper closer to the microphone. I put yeah. mine like this. I, I just Ooh, hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just scared myself. <laughs> Did you really? You're like, a car's coming for me. <laughs> Maybe you should cut back on drinking. Yeah. Uh, my quarter your of a beer. Yeah, your first quarter yeah. of a beer today. We'll have an episode where we just drink potters. Oh, oh God. Okay, you're not coming on for another yeah. year, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> I have to have to, I mean, at least uh, yeah. Fleischmann's, I mean, $2. <laughs> I'm going to have to practice. Yeah, you're going to have to. 
I don't think they're <laughs> practicing for that uh, shit. I'm going to have to kill my liver a little bit to get my tolerance up, man. Okay, back to our... Um, All right, trivia. The real deal. Yeah, the real deal. Up to what speeds... Up to what speed can winds reach in a tornado? I'm going to go with 800. 800? I mean 80. 80. 80. <laughs> Jesus, that's like Tuesday, dude. Here. Yeah. So, no, is that wrong? That is incorrect. What? Uh, Speeds of wind. 150. 310. What? Yeah, so I'm going to have to pick another 310 one. 310 miles an hour? Yeah, dude. That's an airplane speed. Fuck. Yeah. I have, I have 90 mile an hour wind at my house. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I, I live in Casper, Wyoming. 90 mile Wyoming. an hour wind sometimes. Yeah. I it, just had to have my roof replaced because it was ripped off by wind. It, when it's 90 is like about when you can lean and be held up by the wind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I call it Tuesday. But when it's snowy, it's even better because then you the wind is whipping so hard that the little grains of snow feel like dirt when they hit you. Mm. Have you experienced that yet? It's oh my god, it is painful. It can be, yeah. Yeah, you gotta wear your goggles. What else you got going on here? While Bobby looks up another a little question. bit of everything in the crock pot. Ooh, I like to hear that though. I've met a lot of artists. Mm-hmm. Well, you were at the Nick the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he like travels the artist circuit for eighty three. There's yeah. a lot of cool artists here in town. Oh yeah, a lot. I've been um, so I've been painting, um, meeting spiritual people. Like this is insane. This is an insane fact to me. So I'm from Florida, where there's a lot of like hippie Californian spiritualism. But since I came to Casper, I have never met more people with a Reiki certification who practice healing arts than I have in my entire life. What's well, Reiki? Is that yoga? No, Reiki is like um, breath work, right? Hands-on it's... healing. Oh yeah, oh. breath work too. Yeah. yeah. But people will go into a Reiki treatment to have like energetic blockages cleared. Oh, wow. And I do, uh, I actually facilitate a Reiki circle where we kind of like play around with some of that stuff. And it's on Thursdays, it's free. And we just kind of like. Where's it at? It's on um, the Labyrinth at Amoco Park. Oh, sweet. Amoco Park, yeah. yeah. Oh, so really? So 5.30s, Thursdays, feel free to come by. And it's it's very Audience, open. you heard that. If you're into Reiki, is that what you said it's called? And it's. Anything, anybody who just wants, who meditates and wants to maybe explore. Every Thursday at 530. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's another thing happening in Casper. Yeah, but this is cool though. This one's free. Yeah, and it's free, Mm -hmm. which you never find in Casper anymore. Free is important. Shit, the food trucks alone cost you 20 bucks a pop. Yeah, no doubt, right? (laughs) But I love it. I love our art scene. For the art walk, this last art walk, Connie and I got Max Smokehouse food truck that's going to be here max yeah oh i love that very excited they just are like a new food truck but jeremy knows them and jeremy said that guy can cook like nobody's biz so i bet it's oh super my gosh good. Mm-hmm. i God, love that why are you just talking about food all day today i don't know but you were talking about that food truck last time the yeah. texas barbecue yeah. it's yeah. called ktb oh okay. culver's texas barbecue oh okay. they're the ones with the pineapple mango salsa stuff Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good. Have you eaten at many food trucks here? No, I've not tried any. You haven't? No. Not even holy guacamole? No. Psh, holy out. guacamole. Holy guacamole is delish. And that lady used to work at Don Juan. Yeah. I wonder if she stole some recipes. <laughs> yeah. The secret formula. It's good stuff. Have you eaten at Don Juan? I don't even know what that it's, means. I, I threw up in their plant one time. He had just gotten done with chemo. I just got done with chemo, <laughs> so I went there to eat. Now I came out of there. It was I'm a like, big group of Wah. us. He just like leaned over and puked in the plant. The <laughs> He's poor, not drunk. He's just... The poor I, I, kid. Yeah, it was it. It I was just... like his first night waiting tables, too. That poor oh, yeah, kid. that poor kid. So I went uh, back, and I didn't have enough cash or anything that night. So I went back and took him 20 bucks the next day. For having a classy clean move. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. On my move. Yeah. yeah. My, I hope they threw that plant away. <laughs> At least it was in the plant, not on the floor. The plant's like, yeah, thanks. Or the table. I know. It I'm could like, have been the table. It's probably like acid puke, too, because oh, of your because the chemo. chemo. Yeah, I'm sure it was It's like, all radiating and stuff. The plant just goes... Meow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Yep, I'm ready. Are you ready? Come on, Jeff. Okay, I'm okay, ready. Okay. What's the bottom of a waterfall called? A pond? <laughs> a catcher? A water no catcher? One does know that. <laughs> I'm going to just make a board. An aglet glue. Glaw. It's a plunge p- pool. A plunge pool. I was kind of close with a pond. No. Krakakoa questions? Anyone? Anyone? Um, 
I just need Do you eyeball. just know something off the top of your head that you think we might know? In trivia form? Or a riddle. How many bones are in a giraffe's neck? I'll say 15. A baker's dozen. Seven. <laughs> he was closer. Yeah, he was closer. I think that we should just call this zero for zero. I think so, too, because we... Or not zero, for, one for one. Yeah, we basically one one. like tied the whole way. Do we, have, do we have any... It's a tie. Yeah, it's this a tie. This is one of our first ties ever. Yeah, it's a tie tie. It's a real tie. It's a real tie. A wins tie. or not. Huh? It's a wins or not. Well, what do you want to do today? You want a bitch or you want a positive prediction? Let's positive prediction. Positive predictions. Yeah, I think Come on, Jeff seems positive. real positive. What is positive prediction? Something that's going to be positive that will happen with the, in the relatively near time. Mm. Like a month. Something like a month. you would like to see happen. Or a day. Or, or a day. Week. Well, uh, yeah, day. within the next month. I have a positive prediction that I'm going to get Betty White back and she is going to run like a dream Betty for White's like five car. years. Mm. Betty White's her car. Yeah. I yeah. I love your positive prediction. Everybody said she's going to die, but Betty White's not going to die. No. She's going to live forever. Okay. <laughs> like okay. the real Betty White was yeah. supposed to. I don't think your car's going to last 100 years, Rachel. You never know. Uh, yeah. Depends on you how much know. I drive it. <laughs> you never know. Okay. What about you? I am going to have the most amazing time out at the lake. I'm going camping for a week. Woo! And I haven't got away like that in years, in years, like five years. So. Well, and I'm going to positive I am prediction so excited. that you're going to so come excited. back in from the lake for our next interview. Oh. Because you don't want to miss this one. Because I have one. to come in from the lake. Yeah. yeah. We're having um, Keyhole. Keyhole Productions. The burlesque girl. Oh, I love having oh. those ladies Have you on. ever seen one of those? I have, yeah. More titties than a man can handle. <laughs> Dude, I was like, good too. I almost want to be straight tonight. <laughs> they're so talented. Like, So their next show is coming up this next Saturday. Next Saturday. Yeah, yeah the 27th. Yeah. I'm going to be there. Yeah. I got myself a VIP couch. Shit, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where is this at again? The Void. Where's, oh, oh I like shit. That place. You like that place? I like that place. They're dry, and it's an interesting environment because you're partying with kids. It feels very wholesome, like you're at a kid's birthday party. Oh, Weird. really? But you actually have fun. That's oh. cool. Hmm. I was there when it was the spotlight. I'll sneak in was... some shots. and. <laughs> well, and I'm going to... So my friend Megan's getting married, and I was going to take Megan and Hannah and Michaela and oh have my a God, little girls' the night. girls' night. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. And Megan's never been to a burlesque show. Neither has Michaela. Or Hannah. Hannah has, but in like Las Vegas. Oh, so okay. I'm sure she probably would think. I'm betcha. Whatever. These girls are totally talented. Yeah. They're talented, yeah. They're, talented. They're really good. Yeah. It, that reminds me, tonight, Tuesdays at the Void is karaoke, which I don't Ooh. know if you have a favorite karaoke spot, but I've been hankering for one. Oh. Karen I, and Jim's. Chatters. Chatters. I got a Chatters yeah. for karaoke. Chatters. Chatters but and Bar None. Is that know, like Staggers? Staggers is in Mills and Chatters is in Bar None. Mm -hmm. Do you have a... Oh, a month prediction. A positive prediction. A positive one. Come on, give us, give us something full of soul <laughs> and good <laughs> spirituality. Oh, oh my Whoa. God. <laughs> the spirit has got him, yo. The spirit so, has got Jeff. I had a friend, so like earlier, a couple months ago when the stock markets were really precarious, one of my good friends... Really, he's a New York stock guy. I just texted him out of the blue. I was like, have faith, my friend. I feel like things are gonna looking up. And we're still not in a recession. We're coming out of it. People are changing jobs, finding their oh, passions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are putting time where it's gonna just give, they're finding their souls. And so I am so optimistic about the state of the world. That's big. And good things coming up for everybody. Like I have faith in the world, in the pollution, the climate change, all these things. I feel like, People are catching on to the right stuff. Oh, I love that. That's huge. I'm going to just Jump add more mojo. And it's yeah. happening in Casper. Oh, I know. It's happening I know, in Casper. dude. I see it. The small community, which is a very large community on the whole of everything. But yeah, we have an right. awesome community. Yeah. I'm going with you. More Woo. mojo, more magic Woo. your way. Send your vibes, brunchies. Yeah, send your vibes to Jeff's yeah. positive prediction. Bring him to Reiki Circle. You had a couple things. He brought yeah. note cards. Let's see note your cards. light facts. Je Jeff brought note cards. Facts. I think he's our first guest to ever come prepared. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, um, when I came to Casper, I, uh, I found out that there's a lot of rehab 
addiction recovery stuff here. Oh yeah. And meeting some of those people who've like gone through the program, come out the other side and you know, like I just found such a, there's a kind of a person there who goes through hard things and comes out that I was like, this is real, you know? Yeah. And so, um, you know, Wyoming per capita has the most suicide rate, the highest suicide rate. Mm-hmm. And a really high meth rate. And the meth right. rate, yes. And I had a friend um, tell me, like, some of the, just the uh, generational kind of trauma stuff that's happened here. Like, it's stained. There's been, like, psychics who are, like, out here is, like, some of the most haunted, evil kind of stuff. So there's, I almost see it, like, coming to Casper. It's, like, this big, hurric- spiritual tornado. Uh-huh. It's a forge of the fire. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I hear music. <laughs> I think it's Connie. Oh, oh yeah. I think Connie's like anyway, oh, today. yes, it is like, it's a great community for that. You're going to find more open minds here than you would anywhere else. Open minds, yeah. And the crazy thing to me, I was raised Christian, seriously Christian, and I didn't feel like I actually had a spiritual experience until coming into recovery things because there's a sense of mutual desperation there. Mm-hmm. that I'd never felt in kindred with anyone. People openly talking about it and being like completely surrendered to, hey, we like, we're like suffering. We're suffering and we want to do something better. So the word surrender, when I found that word in those 12, in those circles, I felt like it, like I had heard about, I don't want to really talk about religion, but I'd heard about religious ideas like grace, salvation, and these things. Yeah. But it never actually came into focus until I heard the word surrender. And even understanding that that was an option. You know, Jeff, I was just sitting here listening to you. Have you ever taken a class at Sanctuary Pottery Studio? (laughs) You and Dandy would probably really get along. I think so also. You should probably meet Dandy. She's the owner of Sanctuary Pottery Studio. They do pottery classes, but she was on our show. And remember how she was talking about the hair shirt? Yeah. Something like just connected her conversation that we had with her to Jeff's conversation that he was just having. Yeah. You guys probably would have a shit. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> she about. knows a lot of she weird does. stuff. Mm. Not that it is weird. But she just But it's is... off the beaten path, you know what I mean? Like it's a like, mystic. Yes, yes. A mystic. That is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I think you should take a class with Dandy. Yeah. Cool. You would probably really like it. Yeah. And it's She's... grounding too, because it's yeah. pottery. Like working with the wheel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, they it's do grounding wheel, too. hand building, they teach it all there. Slabs, yeah. whatever you want to learn, they but it's, teach. During this process, you can talk to her. Mm-hmm. I say in Casper, there's lots of uh, what are they called? Cool weirdos. Lots of weirdos, very few creeps. Not as many creeps as you would Now, as you would think. Right. And then you come across a creep and you're like, whoa. There's a creep. The thing yeah. is, everybody so here in Casper calls people out on their bullshit. Yeah. That's something that we have always done. So oh. if you're a creep, we're just like, dude, you're a fucking, you're fucking creep. creep. <laughs> and so then they stop acting like a creep. You know what I right. mean? Like, I think people in Casper don't necessarily hold their tongues very well. You no, know? Like, they don't have to. If there's it's something that you feel is too. wrong, it is then fun people to be speak around. up. You know? It like, is. I love it. I love the honesty. It's too small. <laughs> everybody knows. Like if everybody. you're in Florida, I mean, billions of people, you can be fake all you want. Yeah. Never oh, meet yeah. the same person twice. Totally. You know what I mean here, but here, someone's gonna know someone. Yeah. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, they're not like that at all. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna throw this prediction out, and I don't even have any bearing on if it's true. But it would be great if it were true, which is if everyone could witness the sense of community of small town America. <gasps> no shit. Bring if back every- small town cheers. America. Cheers to that, Did man. You see cheers. The, um, were you here when the exhibit at the Nick was up? Small town America. No. That was put on by the Smithsonian. Well, we're just about out of time, dude. I know it went so fast, Jeff. You're great. Great yeah. guest. Thank we'll you. We'll have to have yeah. you back on. Absolutely. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks did, for yeah. coming prepared. For... Yeah. It's fun to talk about Casper. I really like I this know. kind of banter. You're like getting around. You're like doing Oil mm. City articles, podcasts, the Labyrinth, fucking all kinds of shit. The I Nick. Know. Like, More to come. <laughs> More to come. That's awesome. Yeah, but keep it up, man. Yeah. You've only been here less than a year. Yeah. You're gonna... I mean, it's like the small town America thing. It's yeah. in it's like it's addictive to like get to know everyone yeah. and you're like and you feel yeah. this like little bubble around you yeah. and everyone it's like the art walk i'm like i don't miss an art walk uh-huh. i just don't miss one me neither and right. you guys make sure you come down to t-hawk studio and glow the for the next art walk, art walk on the walk. first because we're closing down the street people we're gonna have so far we have 11 artists a food truck 
a car show. It's going to be fun. We'll probably have some activities for the kiddos. Um, so make sure you guys come down and hang out with us. On the first. On the first. The last art walk of the season. Oh, so sad. I know. Well, Bring art. Bobby need more. Yeah. Well, you, and Bobby, you can have a booth slinging our merch. Oh, I can sling merch. Yeah. Sling it. Yeah. yeah. Bring your slingshot and go up to Goliath. Uh, I yeah, got a take table that. and everything for you. Yeah, I'll <laughs> sling merch. I'm going to cool. be at the Bourgeois Pig for Art Walk. Nice. Oh, I, I love Bourgeois. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. He's yep. so awesome, dude. He is so Good awesome. Good vibes. Yeah. So I'm going to be playing some piano and singing. You play the piano? Oh, I do a little bit of everything. Jesus Christ, nice. yeah, That's awesome. Um, I mean, Jesus Cristo. <laughs> Jesus Cristo, Hidalgo. <laughs> <laughs> Mi amor. Ah. <laughs> well, it's hot as shit in here, and I'm ready to go home. Yeah, so me too. I hope that you guys all have a good week. In the meantime, you know that if you have any episodes to catch up on, they're all archived. So type in Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. And there we are. And you can listen to any episode. And we're here every single Sunday at 10 in the morning with a brand new episode for you. So in the meantime, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Yes. Bye, Bob. Bye, Ray. Bye, Bye. Jeff. Goodbye. Bye, Brunch. Well, it's like we'll do this again, but the entire time we just whisper to each other. Oh, oh are you serious? I've heard those. Mm-hmm. I've heard those podcasts. Very interesting point you're making. I love it. Keep talking. That would be very <laughs> weird. <laughs> Jeff is weird. <laughs> I couldn't do it a whole episode. It'd be either. <laughs> All right. If you need to do your own podcast, let us know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could do Come in here and just somewhere. whisper to the microphone for an hour by myself. Hello. Hi. That was cute. (laughs) Hello, hi. 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 I was checking levels. Real quick. Level. If there's a picture, if we're painting a picture with this podcast today, what's the picture I'm looking at? Get to know you. Get to to know know you. (laughs) That's what we do on Bob and Ray. You're supposed to aerate it through your teeth. They call it trilling it. Roll it. for tuning in to Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray.